Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your monthly messages from Spirit. This is for August 2019. This is an intuitive read. I've already been meditating and shuffling on the cards for you. Now what I'm going to do is pull six energy oracles, and we're going to go one by one, all right, and as we do that, we are going to clarify with the Llewellyn Tarot. All right. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Gemini, we're ready. Patience. Cornucopia. All right. Man holding a coin. Happy family. Attachment. Magician in the mirror. All right, Gemini. All right, so first off, all right, we have patience. Uh, this could be a time I feel that it's going to be important for you to be patient with yourself, Gemini. Uh, divine timing is at hand here in a situation in your life. Uh, you need to remember that there is a divine plan, Spirit wants you to know that. So, even though you may be feeling like things aren't moving the way or as quick as you would like them to move, remember, it's all happening for a reason. All right, Spirit, what is this patience for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready. All right. We have the moon, and we have the seven of swords. All right. Thank you, spirit. So with patience here, you need to be patient with yourself. There is divine, uh, a divine plan here. Uh, timing is everything's working out as it's supposed to. Now you have the moon here. All right. This is the energy of Pisces. Um, you're getting, you know, I'm getting for some of you that you may be getting a little... Um, what is the word spirit you you may not see exactly your path may not be completely clear to you you have a goal inside of what it is that you're working towards and things are unclear all right you you can't see 100% clearly down the path and that's fine spirit says that's why there, it's important for you to trust right now in the universe have faith and and belief now this is going to be a time for you to pay attention to your dream sign symbolism and synchronicities because the divine is working behind the scenes in uh, in your life right now at this time and i feel like there's messages here for you gemini all right so if you keep seeing the same number over and over again google that go to um messages from your angels all right for for numbers and see what message is there uh look at signs uh symbolism because i feel like your your spirit guides and your angels are communicating with you at this time <coughs> excuse me gemini let me get a drink now we have the seven of swords so what this tells me is that the reason why this divine timing and planning is taking place at this time there needs to be more knowledge i feel gained in a situation there's a need for you not to overlook something okay you need to make sure all your t's are crossed i's are dotted at this time there may be a need for you to research uh there may be uh more some of you may be needing to go back to school there may be more education that needs to be gained in whatever it is that you're moving forward on. <clears throat> Again, I am so sorry, you guys. I'm fighting a cold. And, you know, if you look at this energy right here, you see this owl. I love owls. Owls represent things that are hidden 
okay hidden knowledge and Gemini you hold all that knowledge within you okay if there's something that you're needing answers to there's a big need for you at this time to maybe do some meditation go within because all the answers you seek lie within you all right and just remember spirit says there this is the divine there is a divine plan that's taking place here all right now we have cornucopia and this is so positive I'm feeling that whatever this cornucopia has to do with, this is, reminds me of fall energy. This could be something that could be happening at the end of September or even October here for you. Um, this could be some type of wish fulfillment, blessings, opportunities coming in here. This is the time of reaping your harvest, all right? Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Spirit, what is this cornucopia for Gemini? The Emperor and the Knight of Swords. All right. So with the cornucopia here, this is, you know, this is an abundance. All right. This might be what you're waiting on. You may know that you're going to have this and this is a, a waiting process. It's coming. Now we have the Emperor. This is the energy of Aries. This is all about asserting yourself. Um, having power and control over... Uh, your your financial situation over your life stability and security here all right it's coming um i feel like this is you being very assertive at this time um I, man power with intent is the words that are on my mind and just keep wanting to come out of my mouth i feel like you guys are really manifesting right now gemini um mercury is uh coming out of uh, May is coming out of retrograde, yes. And I feel like you're using this time wisely to start, you know, speaking your intentions out loud. Um, you want something that's built to last, this cornucopia. You don't want this to be something that's going to come in and it's not going to be fulfilling, all right? You want this to be long lasting. Now we have the Knight of Swords energy coming through here. This is your energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now, the Knight of Swords is an energy of being very self-assured, being very outspoken, knowledgeable on what it is that you're using that power with intent, you know, for. So I feel like this is you taking action at this time, especially with the Emperor here as well. You know this cornucopia is available to you. Um, just know I am getting the end of September, October, okay, Gemini? Uh, that could be why this patience is coming up. There's a need for you to be patient with the process. Now we have men holding a coin. This could be you embodying this energy. This could be somebody you're meeting, whether it's male or female. This could be somebody that is going to help you maybe with a loan, uh, maybe help you with the financial situation this could be somebody coming into your life that you're meeting that is going to offer you stability and security maybe uh this is something romantic that may be taking place all right and this person is meant to be on your path at this time okay so let's see what spirit says here man holding a coin for gemini thank you spirit Yes, the full Ten of Cups. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right, man holding a coin. This could represent a male or female. I do feel like this is a new beginning with this person. And there's a need for you to trust in the universe. All right. Uh, this may be a new journey that you're fixing to start with this person, a new beginning. This could be a partnership, maybe business okay but in all this is very positive now we have the ten of cups here and i love this because i do feel like this is somebody that you may have some romantic stirrings going on here you know feelings that are that has to do with this individual that's coming into your life um this is i feel like i'm getting emotional satisfaction here 
there's hope, joy, peace, harmony here. Uh, this is the happy family energy as well. Uh, the, and with this energy, there's a promise of more to come, Gemini. And you see that rainbow. This is endless, limitless possibilities and opportunities, okay? I, I'm feeling like this is unconditional love as well for you. Woo, Gemini, I think you may have a new love coming in, all right? And this is somebody that is well off. They have... Uh, they have their stuff together when it comes to their financial situation. Beautiful. Now we have happy family. I, I love this again. We have several energies here that have come out with the, the rainbow. Uh, so that's a very positive omen right there for you. And for those of you that don't have a family, this is you just working towards building up something that is long lasting some of you could be buying a home for the first time uh, some of you could be selling your home this is something that's built to last though a strong and firm foundation this is about your happiness some of you may be having celebrations at this time get togethers with friends and family as well this might be where you're going to meet this this person here thank you spirit seven of wands and five of pentacles. So we have the happy family here. I feel with the seven of wands here, if this is a celebration or a get together, some of you may be on the defense. There may be, there may need to be truths that need to be spoken at this time. Spirit says that you have the upper hand in this situation. Um, I just feel like Others may not feel or have the same beliefs as you, Gemini. And I feel that at this time, you may be tired of maybe people stepping stepping on your toes at this time. I hope I'm making sense here. Okay? Um, but you're going to take a stand for what you believe in. You know, your happiness and your joy and that peace within you means a lot to you. So you will be, you know... You're not going to be taking any BS from anybody. Now, the Five of Pentacles here. I do feel at this time, many of you are, you know, could be still feeling the effects of some type of lack or hardship here. And that could be why you're being very impatient right here. Because you know this cornucopia is coming. Some of you may be waiting on an inheritance as well that's going to help you come out of this feeling of lack or hardship. I feel for the majority, though, many of you are wanting a home, you're wanting a relationship, um, and you may be feeling lack in that area. Spirit says it's all going to come together for you, though, Gemini. Have patience with the process. Now, we do have attachment here. All right? Now, this is something that... This isn't going to be for everybody. Um, some of you may feel bound, tied, or restricted. You know, putting there's limitations you feel. You're limited. Uh, this could be a job that you're in. This could be, you know, hardships. Um, this could have to do with addictions as well. And Spirit is saying at this time, um, you're going to be, you, this is a very powerful month that if you do have any type of, uh, blockages or anything that's blocking your energy or holding you back hindering you you can manifest your way out of this this month you have that power within you it's very strong right now and this is the time to take action six of cups this could be a mindset as well a negative way of thinking now we have this seven of wands coming up again here this seven of wands is very significant because it's come up twice all right so we have attachment. This could be a negative way of thinking as well. Um, the Six of Cups is coming up here. Uh, for some of you, you may be thinking and spending a lot of time on uh, what was, what happened in your past. Maybe it was negative experiences, okay? Um, maybe it was a, a toxic relationship, a toxic job. 
Uh, maybe you're having a hard time getting over it or that mindset, okay? And it's time now for you to turn that negative into a positive. And I do feel with the Seven of Wands coming up here again, this is all about being defensive. Maybe some of you, maybe it's time for you to get over the past, to move forward. The past doesn't, you know, just because you've done things or been through stuff in your past, you know, take that, no matter how negative it was, take it, learn from it, all right, and use that now in the present and to move you forward, okay? I don't care what you've been through, what you've done, all right? As long as you are working on yourself and, you know, if it was bad or negative or toxic situations, don't let that be who, you know, have control over who you are now or let people hold that over your head. All right. People, we all make mistakes. All right. But if you have somebody in your life that just keeps bringing it up or won't let you forget it, um, by all means, take a stand for yourself, Jim, and I don't put up with that, okay? And I, I do feel for some of you, this this is, you know, like I said, it's a mindset, or this could be an addiction, and whatever this is, you end with the magician and the mirror right here. Beautiful energy. And you are Gemini. You are the magician here. So, uh, you definitely have the ability to Use all the tools that are available to you to manifest and co-create what you want and desire in your reality, all right? Uh, I do feel like you, by the end of the month, are going to be the master of your destiny. You're going to be able to manifest your way out of any obstacles or challenges that may have come up for you. The Hermit, <laughs> love it, and the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, all right, so you have this power, you are the magician, you understand that you have magic that flows within you and through you, okay, and we have the Hermit here, this is the energy of Virgo, now the Hermit tells me that you are, you know, being that magician, you're, you're gaining spiritual enlightenment. Some of you may be going within, it, within yourself to figure out which direction or which path that you want to take. This is also you allowing yourself to go with the process of this patience here, okay? Because when you go within and you pause and reflect and you go into hermit mode, you gain a sense of inner peace and patience with yourself, all right? So you know what it is. The action that you need to be taking here. And that is, you know, gaining enlightenment, of uh, gaining peace and patience within yourself. And it's it's going to allow for a turning point and enlightenment to take place. All right. Something's going to awake within you, Gemini. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles here. I love this. This is all about mastery. This is you being very diligent, disciplined, and knowledge. On what it is that you're manifesting, you're co-creating, all right. And this is you. I, I mean, this is this is all about mastery here. You're almost at completion here. So I really feel with this cornucopia, whatever this abundance of blessings, opportunities, uh, money, financial gain, by the set, the end of September, first of October, you're going to have it manifested. It's coming. Because you're working very hard towards this. Very powerful energy. You are going within, Gemini. You're tapping into that well of knowledge. You're seeking that guidance within yourself. And it's really going to help you break free from anything you may feel bound or tied to. And you're going to find that, that peace and that, that happiness within yourself. All right, Gemini. I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.